Now you can do what you want to do. The non-Muslim sitting here. You can be whatever you want to be. You can follow whatever you want to follow. You can call yourself whatever you want to call yourself. But I say to you that you have a choice to govern your life. You have a choice to make the right choice or the wrong choice. You have a right to submit. You have a right to determine. You have a right to say that I'm willing to follow the conditions. You have a right to do that. Or you can just say, I'm rebellious. I don't care. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to live my life and I'm going to have fun. I'll tell you what living your life and having fun is going to lead you to. Today, the people that seem like they're having the greatest time, having all the fun, is these entertainers. These bling bling people. Like Britney Spears and like Destiny's Child. You sisters know who I'm talking about. These little bling bling whores. Now, she wasn't a bling bling whore when she started out. She was a little girl with blonde hair, hopping around and skipping around. She was, a, she was at that time, innocent. Her mother and father was letting her dance and sing, and, you know, she got on the radio and the TV, and she got some awards, and she was still a virgin at 13. But by 15, she was a prostitute. And now she's 19. She's 20. And she had prostituted herself in about 19 different countries. 19 years old. Can you imagine a young girl started out innocent at 13 years old and she is the hero. She is the model. She is the, she is the poster child for all of these women and she's nothing but a bling bling whore. And all these other bling bling criminals that our sons and daughters are wearing their shirts, wearing their coats, wearing their jackets, wearing their hats, M&M, 50 Cent, wearing their, wearing their, all, all their shirts. These are our heroes putting up their posters. What are they? They're bling bling criminals, dope sellers, fornicators, liars, stealers, cursing God, cursing their parents, killing people, selling drugs. And these become our heroes. These movie stars, they become movie stars. They become television stars. Hip-hop, they call them. New generation. Hip-hop. They are going to be hipping and hopping. <laughs> They're going to be hipping and hopping. They're going to be snap, crackle, and popping in the hellfire. Yes, they will be hipping and hopping. Because that is the final consequence for corruption. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Hal jaza'u al-ihsan illa al-ihsan? Is there any other reward for good other than good? If you don't do good, how do you think you're going to expect good? So as a result, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has shown us that all of these people who seem to be having fun, who have become the heroes, the television, the movie stars, the poster stars, the magazine stars, looking like they're all happy and proud and big homes and big money, so far they are the most miserable people. They die early, they are diseased, they live with despair. They wind up lonely and living in dark places. They are the most frustrated people, and when they die, they have no legacy whatsoever. Why? Because everything that the Creator told us not to do, when we do it, it winds up with disease. You name it. If the Creator told us, not to drink alcohol. What is one of the greatest diseases in the world today? If the Creator told us not to use drugs, what is one of the greatest diseases in the world today? If the Creator told us not to fornicate, not to commit adultery, what is the greatest disease in the world today? Sexually transmitted diseases. If the Creator told us to be fair, don't take interest, what is the greatest source of stress in the world today? Debt. Everything the Creator said don't do, if you do it because you have the will to do it, it ends up with disease. Everything the Creator said to do, if you do it, it winds up as a gift. It winds up as a refinement. It winds up as an acquired habit. It winds up as something that you can leave as a legacy. If the Creator said do good actions, a person that tells the truth, 
he builds around them and insulates around themselves children, society, corporation, business, government that is built upon truth. Truth only leads to truth. Lies only lead to lies. When the Creator said to us, perform worship, recognize, pay tribute, complete the terms, when you see that a person is driven by faith, when you see that a person's life falls within the parameters of faith, a person's conscience is driven by faith, when a person, it brings about honor, it brings about integrity, it brings about strength, support, reputation. Today, as a result of the fact that the Creator has said to us, respect each other, we have no more family values. And what has the loss of family values led to? Again, disease. So the non-Muslims sitting here, I'm saying to you that you have a personal responsibility. Your personal responsibility is to make the choice, to bear witness, to accept, to declare, to put yourself on a path where you recognize your creator. And secondly, not only that you recognize your creator, but that you're willing to make some kind of tribute towards your creator by either praising or by following or adhering. And finally, you have a choice. You have a responsibility to not only accept and to recognize, but to conform. Conform means submit. 